Hi, my name is Brendan Gata, and this is The Catholic Company. A few years back, a movie came out called Silence, which is based on a book that was written in the 60s. The story is simple. Two Jesuit missionaries head from Portugal to Japan, looking for their mentor, who was a Catholic priest. These two men are there not only to minister to the people and spread Christianity, but also to find out if the rumors were true about their mentor, who apparently had apostatized, meaning he had left the faith. So the story plays out that these two men are persecuted throughout their time in Japan and eventually do find their mentor. It's with great sadness that they realize that he has, in fact, left the church. And so they spend a little bit of time there trying to bring him back into the fold. But he tells them that he has left. This is the, the new place that he has chosen. I share this story because although this is a well-written book, and although the story that is told has happened before, today we honor St. Paul Miki and his companions who when push came to shove, instead of denouncing the faith, they stood up for it. St. Paul Miki was first evangelized by St. Francis Xavier. And for a while, there was peace in Japan. Christianity had its place, but eventually the government there in Japan saw it as a threat. And so they did whatever was necessary to stomp it out. This included making St. Paul Miki and 25 other men march for hundreds of miles throughout Japan, suffering all the way to Nagasaki, where these men were to be crucified. Throughout the journey, they were all offered the opportunity to apostatize and live. Not a single man accepted. All 26 of these faithful martyrs died for the faith. I invite you today to reflect on this wonderful example and say a prayer asking for their intercession. St. Paul Miki and companions, pray for us.